One of the time-saving tools in the pre-built ML software is the presets feature. Presets provide an express way for you to call frequently used products. To create a preset, you can follow the simple process of drawing it, setting it, and saving it. For example, let's say that we wanted to create a preset for some headers that we draw frequently in our projects. So first, we'll come to the segment tool and start to draw it here in our project. We'll draw the opening and end the process. And now we'll right click on the segment line, set the application to header, set the product to 4x12, since that's the product we are going to call frequently throughout this job. And also we're going to choose to add an extension onto the ends so for the bearing of the header. We could choose to set other properties on this item, such as the plies, no implied pitch, or even the condition. But in this case, we've set it the way that we want it. So we've drawn it, set it, and now we're going to save it. We'll right click on the item and choose save as preset and we'll give it a name. In this case, we'll call it header 4x12. Click OK and now our preset is created and it can be used throughout the project. To demonstrate this, we'll delete our existing header and we'll start to draw some of these headers again. But this time, instead of left clicking on the segment tool, we'll right click on it and we'll see a list of all the different presets that are available, including the header 4x12 that we just created. We'll select it and start drawing and note now that when we complete our drawing, the application, the product, and the extension have already been set for us because the preset is being used. You are able to create presets for any of these takeoff or annotation type tools in the digitizer. There are three common ways to leverage the presets feature, projects, templates, and default settings. In the case of projects, if you have a job where you're using unique material repeatedly throughout that particular project, you can create presets for that particular job so that you can easily draw them over and over again on different pages. In the case of templates, you can see here in the Profile Presets tab that all of the presets you've created are listed. If you have items that you draw regularly across all of your different projects, you can create presets for those and save them in your base template file so they are available for all your future projects. You can also make use of the import and export buttons in the toolbar to place them in the different templates that you may have created. Finally, you can use the presets feature to change the default behavior for a particular tool. For example, here in the digitizer, if we select the highlighter and draw a new highlighter, the default color is yellow. But let's say that for you, most of the time you would prefer to be calling a blue highlighter. Here we can come to this highlighter that we've drawn and following the process of drawing, setting it, and saving it, here we've drawn our highlighter, set it the way we want it, and now we're going to create a preset and we'll call it blue highlighter. We'll click OK and our preset is available in the right click menu and we can choose to draw one of those preset highlighters. But if we just left click on the highlighter tool, we'll still only get a yellow highlighter. To change this, we'll come to the profile, come to the highlighter area of the presets, find our blue highlighter preset and choose to set it as the default. Now we've changed the default behavior for the highlighter to follow that preset. So here we'll simply left click on the highlighter, draw this highlighter, and it starts out as blue following our preset preference, which we have set as the default behavior for that tool. You can adjust the default behavior for any of these tools by following that same methodology. So use presets in your projects, templates, and default settings.